Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady and I'm back with my month in review for the month of January. However, first we're going to backtrack a little bit because I think I forgot to show you a mini project that I did in December, which was this little crystal bookmark. So this one I got, I think, as a free gift from the one with the diamond art. It came with one of my <laughs> first orders I did and it's all crystals which this was my first time working with all crystal drills and it's really nice quality leather bookmark. Um, you get this nice little tassel on it. And I'd heard that um, crystal drills are actually really fiddly to work with, but I didn't have any problems on this. I think it's really pretty, but I would never use it as a bookmark because the glue is actually all over the edges. So if you did use it as a bookmark, you're going to get your pages stuck to it, which is why it's still in its little plastic wrapper. But it was a really nice little mini finish. And I do really love crystals. I really want to do more crystal kits. So I've, I'm tempted to at some point get some from Treasure Studio Art. They have some full crystal kits. So I might get some of those in the future. But it's just really pretty and really just glassy <laughs> and sparkly so that was my december mini project that i did <laughs> um there was just a bit of a discussion going on on a facebook group about the kind of um kits that the one with the diamond art sells so i decided that i would work on it it's so pretty and shiny so anyway that was my mini finish for december <laughs> now on to my january finishes so i actually managed to do quite well and i had five finishes this month to be fair, they're all really quite small, but the first kit I have to show you ta -da, is this beautiful one. This was from Diamond Art Studio UK and it was a 45 by 45 centimetre round drill kit. And it's so sparkly and pretty. It was really confetti heavy though. It took quite a long time. So I think I worked across the top and then down this side and then sort of down and across and then I saved the face till last but the drills were fantastic it's oh, I just I love I love working on their kits because their glue <laughs> I kind of describe it as spongy because when you're placing drills on this glue it's just it's a fantastic spongy experience it's just I've never had a kit with just it, they are superior for glue quality in my opinion um so it's a very beautiful little Finish. So this one was by the artist Vicky Davison. Um, and yeah, I just, I really loved it. I didn't have any issues with it. It worked out beautifully. The canvas is a very interesting material. So it's not like as soft as Diamond Art Club, but it's not as hard as Diamond Dots. So I kind of think of it as if Diamond Art Club and Diamond Dots had a baby, this would be like in between those two kind of canvases. So this is like a like a combination of it's really smooth on the front and it's quite soft on the back but not soft as diamond art club and not as stiff as diamond dots so it's a lovely kind of in between kind of canvas and i just i love the feel of it i love the quality i love the rendering i just i love the company in general They're, they've become one of my favorite companies so i will definitely be working on more kits from them this year because Look at the sparkle on it, it's so pretty with all the greens. They did have a few ABs down here in the flowers. So I'll just lift you up so you can see. So there's some ABs in here. I only had two ABs in the kits. So it was an orange and a slightly yellowy color. But can you see the sparkle on it? It's just, oh, it's fabulous. So that was my, my first finish for the month of January. And it did actually travel around with me a bit. This, this kit became kind of a travel kit because it came with me between houses when I was split between houses over over the beginning of the month. And I, I think I actually had this as a whip going into January. So yeah, but again, the glue <laughs> spongy in my notes, I've written, this is my little log book, but I wrote um, spongy is the perfect word for this glue. It's like pressing on a mini memory foam mattress <laughs> with a little smiley face. That's what's in my notes. So this is my second finish from this company. It was my 58th finish of all time. And uh, I think this was my first finish for 2024. So anyway, my next kit that I have to show you is this beauty. This is from Diamond Art Club. It's called Snow Deer by the artist Safina Art. And it was a 43 centimeters by 59 centimeters. It's Bambi. <laughs> so I actually made a few mod uh, modifications on this kit. So up here, 
Originally this was charted as incredibly splotchy and I didn't like it so I wanted to try and make it more um, solid to try and emulate more of these curves in these kind of trees so it's a tree in the background. I kept this kind of cut out bit that was in the original charting just because I thought it gave it a bit more, um, I don't know, depth or character. Um, I was <laughs> a bit run off my feet doing other things while I was working on this so it didn't come out as well as I'd hoped. I think I should have made it go more up like this to get it more straighter at the top. Maybe that would have looked a bit better, but it's okay. I think it's better than it was. Um, and interestingly, because you've got this bit of matching purple on this side, which in the original artwork, there doesn't seem to actually be dark purple down this side, but it kind of matches with that to kind of bring it together and keep it more symmetrical, I think. So yeah, this one was quite fun and it did actually snow in England while I was working on this kit. So it kind of seemed um, somewhat appropriate. Got a bit of dirt on it down there. Oh, yeah. So yeah, there was lots of ABs all in the little, the little Bambi deer. There you, go. you can have a close up of him, but he is pretty much all, all ABs and that. So yeah, this was a fun kit, enjoyable square drills. Um, do I have any other notes that I've written down? It took me 11 days to finish um, and we did end up getting, um, there was like a repair work being done and a new boiler getting put in at the time I was working on this. So there was a lot of interruptions of, yeah, people coming in and out of my room to bleed radiators and things. So it was a bit disruptive working on it, which is why I kind of went, yeah, this bit at the top, good enough. <laughs> so yeah, this was quite a fast, fun finish. Um, did I write anything on it? Nope. It's my little notebook page for this one. Um, I didn't write many notes on it. Um, yeah, so this was my 59th finish of all time and my second finish for the year. So moving on to my third finish. So I have a series on my channel called My Stash Countdown, where I ask people to kind of vote and help me decide what kit I could work on for that particular month. So it was a bit of a tie. <laughs> and in the end, I think I got the deciding vote and I decided to work on this piece. Because <laughs> this is Fire and Ice by the artist Jojo's Art. I love Jojo's Art. And I thought this one, I kind of, I think I put the deciding vote in on my, my own stash countdown video. Um, because this one just felt so appropriate with, as I said, the boiler breaking. So we'd had smart meters uh, coming to be installed and that's when they discovered that there was a gas leak and the boiler got condemned on the coldest week we have had so far this winter. Um, it was minus temperatures, minus <laughs> Fahrenheit, uh, not Fahrenheit, degrees Celsius. Um, and I just thought this one was really appropriate because we had no central heating and no hot water and it was freezing. Um, so this was us sort of battling against the cold during that uh, new boiler being installed. So this is our new boiler fighting back against the freezing temperatures. That's kind of how I, I see this kit as a perfect example of the war we had with the cold and the boiler. <laughs> so um, yes, lovely, sparkly. I did find it a bit boring. Uh, the one thing that really, really annoyed me about this kit doesn't happen very often but I ran out of drills for this tiny purple color down here. So I think the color was 333. I think it's this purpley color. So I can't remember if it was there or something where I had to just substitute in a different color because I didn't have any spares. Um, and it was so annoying. I was nine drills short. And it's so frustrating when you're like right at the end of the canvas and nine drills short. That was just just for that tiny little bit. So that was really irritating. But moving on, I don't think I have any other notes that I wrote down on this one. Yeah, so I did run out of the 333 and I substituted it with a 3746 in the, the color, DMC colors. So yeah, it did leave me in a bit of a bad mood, but it also gives me like really Animals of Farthing Wood vibes, this kit, if you've ever seen that was one of my favourite shows growing up as a child. It was a, a UK um, BBC TV cartoon and it was just, yeah, it was a battle between the blue foxes and the red foxes. And I kind of, I just kind of associate that with 
animals are farthing wood very much this kit even though i'm sure they're supposed to be probably wolves <laughs> but again i think it perfectly depicts the the fight we had <laughs> with our boiler fighting back against the the cold so that was that kit the next kit because it was so close with my stash countdown of um the choosing of the the kits whatnot the next one which i think probably was the winner based on everyone else's votes was this one this is daylight by the artist puffy gator and i i love my puffy gators so the thing about this one this one does actually have the 333 dmc drills in it so if i wanted to i now do have some spares i could go back and i could pick off the ones from the fire and ice one and put the correct color in there but i'm too lazy to do that now it was just like oh if i'd done this one first i'd have had plenty of drills left over to do this one but the funny thing about this kit i ran out of drills again it's like, come on diamond art club two kits in a row where i run out of drills that's is slipping you're slipping diamond art club so i this is the color i completely ran out of um it was three three six four fortunately because of this going right back to the beginning because of this kit from diamond art studio uk i actually had some spares and it was a perfect dye lot match as well so it didn't affect me too badly because i could pull them out of my stash so i was so relieved that i had had them in my stash because i keep a record of all my my spare drills i don't know if anyone else does this but i have a dmc printout of all the color charts and um, down here different companies get different colored ticks next to them so find some more pages so you can kind of see i kind of tick off square and round in the various company drills because i like to kind of keep each company's drills separate in their own box so yeah it's okay i had spares for this one but yeah it's such a downer it wasn't actually the only one i had another um set as well where i got so low and that was this color the 920 that is all i had left over <laughs> so that one was a bit stressful when i was working on this color going do i have enough do i have enough um this green one however though i was 25 drills short so that was quite a lot <laughs> that i was short of which was so frustrating because again i was right near the end of it um i didn't bother contacting diamond art club or anything just because i'm in the uk it would have been at least a two-week wait for replacement drills and you know it's fine i substituted others in i'm not gonna make them pay extreme levels of postage just to <laughs> send me like 25 drills and nine drills of the other one so yeah but i'm so happy with this one i love puffy gator it just brings me so much joy to work on them like every single minute of puffy gator kits is just pure bliss i love them so much um i did make a few alterations on this daylight kit so the first I did was I cleared up this mouth line. If I bring you up to it, you can probably still see the original colours underneath. Oh, I've got some putty stuck on it. There. But like down here, you can see there was blue charted up here. So it kind of went in and then there was an orange one that came down here. And it just looked a bit kind of messy. So I cleared that up to give him a tighter jawline. And I also changed all of this bit down here so all of this around the outlining of the scruff on the neck it was charted with a darker blue kind of a bluey gray so it kind of had a very stark outline that really popped out to you so I kind of didn't like that I preferred it up here where it sort of merges kind of seamlessly and it looks nice and you know fluff as opposed to harsh outline so I did spend quite a bit of time like changing it so down here you can see where the original outline of the blue was and I just went over with a darker yellow and the same down here and originally it was charted with a blue line going across here but I just fixed those in with the colours that came with the kit so yeah and that up here instead of having the dark blue I just put pale blue so it, yeah, it looks seamless and it looks like floof. I think if I was doing it again, I would change this. This like one harsh straight line. It's like that doesn't look floofy enough in my opinion. But I think maybe if it had just been curved a little bit, so it looked more like this one, 
it would have looked a bit better than just having that stark straight line <laughs> which kind of takes away the softness of it but i love this kit i loved it's got fairy dust it's got ab's i'm not 100 percent sure about this pink bit right here by the eye but it is a very kind of i'm getting the vibes that this this kind of fox wolf coyote is coming out of the clouds and it's more like a a cloud shape which is why i didn't want the harsh lines i wanted it to look soft and like a cloud um at least that's what i'm getting because of these the way it's like down here it all looks sort of almost cloud like i think so anyway absolutely loved this kit because <laughs> puffy gator so my first puffy gator of the year um so i can't remember which number finish we're up to but i also um i did another kit from my my stash countdown because i wanted kind of a quick easy finish so i did this one <laughs> this is um a little kit by uh crystal creations i got this from the range in the uk um it is a partial and it's mounted on a canvas which i'm personally not a big fan of that because then it takes up more space and you can't store them flat so i did keep the original box that it came in which ta -da! so that's the box came in i think i'm probably going to store it back in the box just to keep it from getting knocked or anything um i was a little worried with the glue oh going back to glue this kit had bad glue this puffy gator one um it, it wasn't great like I think I had to give up with the putty and I did switch back to using blue wax on it because it just, the drills were not wanting to stick to certain parts of it. So, and I've heard other people have had issues with the glue on this kit as well. So I think I got this during its very first um, release, the first run of kits that they did of this one. So hopefully if you bought it, you know, after the initial release, hopefully they might have got better glue on it and maybe sorted out that issue of the drill colors running out um but anyway back to this one um i was a little worried when i first peeled off the plastic that maybe this glue wouldn't be very strong but nothing's fallen off it seems pretty pretty solid so i'm glad about that still not sure how i feel about partial kits just because if you get the light in a certain way you can just really see like the nose the way it the light kind of it dulls the image so it depends on what light you get it in really but i thought the fox itself was so cute um and it was partial and it worked up with one day and the drill quality was so much better than the previous kit that i did from this company so i actually bought this one from the range it was the only place i could find that actually sold this particular kit um it is out of stock last time i checked it's it's been out of stock for a while now so I don't know if there's anywhere else that actually sells it, but um, it cost me £9 and half of that was basically the shipping cost. So not not bad for like a £5 kit, basically. Um, yeah, so I was pretty happy with this, considering that the previous kit that I got from them was £7, quarter of the size and the drills were awful in it. So this one I'm pleasantly surprised where technically it's slightly cheaper if you're not in count counting the postage and the quality was far superior so that's good i'm happy i like it there wasn't any ab's or anything charted in it but i think the flowers came out really nice like i don't mind it being a partial up here i think that works quite nicely especially with that little butterfly as well and the flowers down here i don't think that like distracts or anything um it's literally just the eye and the nose but then you'd never have been able to get this eyeball detail if you'd done that with drills so that was Finish number five. So all of um, Crystal Creations, they do legally license all of their artwork, usually by uh, Hinkler or by Shutterstock. It says down here. Yep. So yeah, that was finish number five. So I went a bit mental going, yeah, <laughs> stash countdown people, choose which kit I work on. And then I end up working on three of the options that I put up on that video. So yeah, it's just I couldn't I couldn't decide I kind of wanted to work on all of them. So I did the, the top two choices and then this one just is a bit of fun to to squeeze in. So five finishes for January and I do have one whip that I'm taking with me. Um, it was a whip going into January and now it's going to be a whip going into February as well. So uh, going back to my notes for this kit, 
Um, the drills for this kit, they didn't actually come with any uh, DMC numbers, so storing them is a bit of a pain. I think I ended up just taping them up and putting them back in the box just in case if anything falls off and I need to get... I'm sure they're in here somewhere. <laughs> if I ever need to like replace a drill on it, at least I've still got the originals that came with the kit since their number, the number things don't correlate the diamond art club not diamond art club the dac color code or anything so that was my leftovers where i've written all the little symbols on the bags so if anything falls off they're there as emergencies that was the plastic cover that originally came on it it was quite nice and thick but yeah i'm i'm not sure i'd really want to work on any more canvas mounted pieces um because I know I'd love to try Craft Buddy, but again, they're all larger than this and they're canvas mounted. And if you've got limited storage space, it seems a shame to have to then pack them up and put them back in the box they came in. Um, I'd, I guess I could try and take them off, off, the, off the backing, try and take the staples out if I got future ones um, for my Craft Buddy or something. But it seems a shame because... Yeah, I wish I wish companies didn't do mounted mounted artwork. Personally, that's that's just me. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, and I did have one symbol on this, which was a real pain in the bum to to see. It was the number four. I think I might have taken a photograph of it. So if I did, I'll put it up in the screen. Um, but yeah, that was that was the only symbol that was really blurry. So apart from that, it was fine. It's just if you can't read it, it's going to be a number four. <laughs> So the final whip that I have to take into the next month with me, it's this one again. <laughs> this is from the one with the diamond art. Let's move the canvas out of the way. The one with the diamond art. So this is causing me misery. <laughs> I hate saying bad things about kits, but this one is just... It's, it's causing me so many problems. Um, so it is the glue around the edges is bad. So basically, once you put the drills down, do not try and straighten them because the second you do, you're going to have like five drills pop off. The next issue is so confetti heavy that when drills do pop off, you're like, oh, which color spot was this single drill I have in my hand? Um, if you, yeah, it's... It's a pain. Um, add on to the fact that the symbol quality isn't great. Um, there's especially in the darker colours. So around the light sides, the sides are kind of easy because you can at least see the symbols. But um, let's see if I can show any examples on that. But it's also really hard. You have to have like natural day daylight as opposed to overhead lights on it. So I don't know if you can see like the H's. They're not too bad. It's the the worst culprit, I think fours aren't great. Um, whoops, sorry, I bumped you. But there's certain I can't remember which ones it is. There's certain ones where they don't you can't see them at all. Um, like move my cover minder out there. So we got like little dashes. This is the same stuff I said in my last month in review, but you've got these little dashes that are just blurred out symbols. Um when you're looking at it like this, it doesn't look as bad, but when you're looking at it and you've got drills down and it's confetti heavy, and then you're trying to peer around the shadow that the drill's creating to go hung on, which symbol is this? Basically, it's just, it's hard going. Like this little section, like that inch section, that took like an hour just to do that. And it's, yeah, it's slow going, it doesn't bring me joy, and I find I'm actually causing myself a lot of back pain and stomach problems trying to work on it, because I'm leaning over it so hard to try and work out what the symbols are. Add in the difficult glue and the fact it's really confetti heavy, and it's, yeah, the kind of annoying thing as well, like all of this around here, this is ABs in the background. The AB drills are slightly bigger than the rest of them so over here we've I've had them where you've got to be very careful because they're trying to pop off um they're not too bad now that they're in and set but when I was trying to place them it was yeah <laughs> it would have been easier if the ABs were the same size as the regulars because then you wouldn't be getting this kind of crush problem 
but it's a pretty image. Um, the drill quality has actually been pretty good for the most part, so that's positive. Drills, yay. Um, but otherwise it's just, yeah, I get burnt out so quickly on it, I'm only doing small sections. So I think in my last month in review, I had done this top part and parts of this bit. So I've, I've done a bit more this month, but I'm planning on this being a very long term whip now because I can only do small bits in a go. So I might try and get like another row done in February. Um, I've got my own kind of planned out theme for February. I plan to work on pet companions is my theme for February. So this one kind of works because you've got your little squirtle down here. Um, so I might try and get some more of that done for, for February, but I'm not expecting to finish it because I see kind of this bit down here where it's all dark and I'm going like, <laughs> no, I'm not looking forward to that. Although down this bit will be okay because there's lots of colour blocking, which will be a joy. Well, I say lots, but it's it's better than the rest of the kit. So, yeah. So, again, this one was from the Diamond Art Club. Uh, not Diamond Art Club. The one with the Diamond Art, um, UK-based company. It's a 50 by 50 in square drills by the artist. I think it's a fin Finra or Finera. I can never pronounce her name, but... Um, another thing about this artwork is it is AI art. So if that is an issue, I do recommend if if you have strong opinions about AI art, art like I do, always read up on the um, the premium artist's information page before you make your purchase because it will tell you what kind of art medium they use. Um, but I'll talk more about more about the artwork itself, more about AI work, all of that kind of fun stuff once I've actually finished the kit. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. We had five finishes for January. Um, I don't think I'm going to have as many for February because it's a slightly shorter month and I'm blasting my way through my smaller kits. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button on your way out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.